Hi, Chow. Hi, Susie from Illinois. Hi, Karen. Hey, Bernie. Hello, Patty from Maine. Hey, Stace. Hi, Kythera. Hi, Susan. Hi, Sally. Hi, Jerry. Well, you may have saved yourself some money. Hey, Cheryl. Hi, Jonna. All right, I don't want this video to be too super long because I know a lot of you guys. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Maureen. Um, hi, Webb. Hi, everybody. Hi, Tracy. Yeah, I'm going to agree with Stacy. You don't need the, if you have the scan and cut, you don't really need this. All right, so I'm going to walk you through what I found out about the um, brand new Cricut Joy foil transfer kit. So the easiest way for me to explain this to you guys is this is pressure activated foil. There is no heat involved. However, I do have a video using the foil quill in the Cricut Joy. They have not made the foil quill for the Cricut Joy. The foil quill is made by We Are Memory Keepers, which uses hot foil. And then there's a wire and then you plug this the wire into a USB and it heats up. Um, so to compete with that, they didn't want the foil quill in their machine. Cricut came out with last year, their own foil transfer kit. It originally only came out for the original Cricuts. And now this year it just came out for the cute little baby joy. Okay. So I'm going to walk you guys through how to use it with the app. Um, which I'm going to tell you is not the easiest. I would recommend using Cricut Design Studio. And I purchased all of these items with my money. There is no, um, no one sent these to me to try out. So this is all my own opinions on if I wasted my money or not. So let's, let's get on to it. All right, so I'm going to use my phone so I won't be able to see comments. So if you have qu questions or comments, I have my... Um, my two admins, Stacy and Chow, and actually Tracy's on here too. So we have uh, three out of the four on here that can hopefully help us out. So first thing you're going to need to know is there are two apps. There is the Cricut Design Space and Cricut Joy app. And for this, we need to have the Cricut Joy app. Okay, only took me half an hour to figure that out. So once you download the Cricut Joy app, now this is if you're going to be using it from your phone. If you're going to be using it from your computer, there are other videos you can watch on that. I just want to show you out of the box how this gets started. I probably should show you what comes in the box, huh? All right, so <laughs> in the box comes, and I got this from HSN. They had a bundle. It was $34 five dollars something like that okay um comes the and i don't have an hsn affiliation but we will look for it a little bit exp less expensive if we can hi diana hey oh yeah melanie it's a different app yep hi abraham okay so here's how it came it came with the housing and the blade in there, okay? And to insert the blade, it's magnetic. You take the flat side and you stick it in here and it will magnetic. And if you wanna remove it, you push down on this end and it'll come out and you pull it out so it's magnetic. I will tell you, I've already tried to see if it will fit inside the blade housing and they are two different sizes and you cannot interchange them so the white one is your blade and the blue one is your foil okay all right so that's what comes in the machine in terms of tools it also comes with these strips of tape which are designed to hold down your foil and i showed these before when i did the video showing the true nature of this foil um, spoiler alert, it's just hot foil, you guys. It comes with some silver and gold sheets of foil in here, the tape. It comes with a insert 
cards kit. This is 12 and it's the hollow cards. So it comes with gray cards and hollow inserts. Um, tells you the size up here. It also comes with uh, the 24 pack of the jewel sampler, which comes with green, purple, and teal. You can pick these up at your big box stores as well. And it also comes with the card mat. Okay. And the card mat is important if you want to make cards. Okay. So you don't necessarily need these items unless you're going to be making the insert cards. You can do the foiling part without these. Um, but we're going to, again, if you're just opening up the box and you want to know how to make everything work, I will show you how to make everything work. All right. So once you, oh, and the instructions are useless. So here are the instructions. Um, all they tell you is basically what's in the machine. They don't tell you how to do anything really. So that's kind of useless. All right. So I have my machine plugged in. And if you didn't know, there's a little magnetic spot at the top here, so you can kind of keep your blade out of the way. So if you see me do that, it's not magic. It's supposed to be there. All right, so I have a whole bunch of um, my cards. You can pick these up on sale at Joann's, Michael's. Like I said, your big box stores have them. And the inserts cards come in different sizes, so you can look there and it tells you what size the cards are, and what they basically are, are um, envelope packs with cards, okay? And then they call these flat sheets inserts. And I'll show you what these inserts do. They just change the color of the inside of your card. I don't particularly love these cards. Um, they're not the best quality, and they're not the worst quality. They're, eh, I mean, again, if you're just starting out, they're okay. I think you could make your own. I buy them when they're on sale. Here's another pack I got from Hobby Lobby. So when they're on sale, I pick them up. They're great for quickie cards. Um, but anyway, okay. So how this works, let's move on with things, Nance. Stop talking and show people what to do. Okay, so you're going to go to your... Cricut Joy app. Remember that. Cricut Joy app. And then I'm cheap. I don't pay the $9.99 monthly fee. If you want to pay the $9.99 monthly fee or you have Cricut Design Space or if anybody wants to share with me, that would be cool. But I am a very frugal mommy and I don't have any of that. So I'm only going to show you guys the free stuff. Okay. Um, I think that the Silhouette software is the best software because I can take any of my own designs and I can turn them into SVG. So if you know how to do all of that, that's a video for another day. But I'm just going to show you guys the free ones today because, again, I'm not going to pay the $9.99. Obviously, that's Cricut's deal. They want you to pay the $9.99 and then you can, you know, get unlimited use. All right. So anyway, you're going to start on Insert Cards. You're going to hit Browse. And then anything that has this little symbol, that's the cricket symbol you're going to pay for. So if you're a frugal like me, you're going to click the free button. And this is what we get for free. And the reason they're free is because there's not a lot to choose from. And they're really not, uh, it's not that great. So I'm going to show you the card that I made, which I thought, these are all like to... Um, nurses, doctor, doctors, and things like that. Now, there are some cut ones without foil, so I've already made this little koala. Chow, don't look. Um, and all you do is follow the instructions. You cut the card out, you put the foil behind, and it's really that simple. The machine does all the work for you, and you have a really quick and simple little family card, baby card, um, Nobody else make this for Chow, okay? Uh, and it's just really cute, right? So that's really easy. But I wanted to do the foiling. So to show you the foiling part, I had to find one with foil, which was this one right here, okay? And it will tell you here what you need. You need the insert card, the card mat, a pen or marker, foil transfer tool, or, um, and then a scraper. Now you use the pen or the foil transfer tool. So you don't have to use the foil transfer tool. You can use a pen to draw in here, but I am going to be using the foil transfer tool. Anyway, you click start making. It does walk you through, it tells you your card size. So you need a four and a quarter by a five and a half card. So we're gonna say, yes, that's the card size. Some of them will give you options based on 
uh, the design, if you can increase or decrease, uh, again, on the freebie site, it's very limited, okay? So now we're going to bring in our card mat. And the card mat, all the card mat is is a sticky mat with a slit behind it. That's all that is, okay? So I'm going to grab one of these cards again. I think we'll do pink this time. Is that a card? Or is that an insert? Okay. And so all you do is you slide your card in and you kind of want to pull it up to the top line here when you slide it in so that it lines up. You do want it straight all the way to the edge. And then you're going to press that down and it's going to stay stuck because, again, this is sticky. Okay? Done. The next thing you're gonna wanna do then is choose your foil color. So the last one I did was silver. So this one, I'm gonna choose the gold uh, foil that they give us, okay? And you're just gonna put that over. Now be careful, because again, because the mat's sticky, my foil did stick on the mat. You just wanna be conscious of that. And you wanna try to cover the majority of your card. And then you can use washi tape or their freebie tape here. Now be careful because you will be removing this foil. So you want to make sure that you can remove the tape off of the project because you'll be foiling first, cutting second. So you'll notice I'll put the, uh, the tape at the bottom. I'm also going to put this tape down at the bottom because it needs to be easy to grasp while it's still in the machine. You'll see what I mean in a second. Gonna grab this piece, put it down here at the bottom. And you kind of want it to be fairly smooth. Don't worry about dusty dusty. Now, for the top piece, I'm just gonna put a little fold in the corner. That just is gonna make it easier for me to remove and you'll see why in a second here. Okay, so I have my card down, my foil always pretty side up, ugly side down. And then I have it kind of taped to the mat here. All right. Let's move on with the app. All right. Now, this is the important part. When you get to this page, ask me how long it took to figure this out. They want to see all the ones that went in the trash can. Um, <laughs> you have to go to edit color. When you go to edit color, you need to click pen foil. Drawing does not work. Um... Uh, here is the one I kept trying to draw on. So even though you would assume, oh, it's a drawing function, I tried many different ways to draw and it would not work properly, okay? So you have to go to that pen foil function under uh, design. So you're gonna go to design, edit the color, pen foil. Is everybody writing that down? Because you guys are going to post this all over the page that we couldn't get it to work. And I want to tell you, this is where you're going to make the mistake. So once you pick your card size, go to edit color and then pen foil. Okay. Then you can choose what color. It really doesn't matter what color because it's not like the machine can say what color. Okay. So we're going to do gold Click the check mark. And now what it's going to do is it's going to put gold. Now you can do the pen function if you have the, the their gel pens or whatever. But again, I'm demonstrating the foil part. Okay. Now I'm going to click next. And it's going to tell me to load my card to make sure I have my foil taped on there. So we're going to click make it. You could click preview if you want. And then my Cricut Joy kept stopping. What the hey? <sighs> jerk no I'm not subscribing for $9.99 I can walk everybody through this I guess again so we're going to go to free cards we're going to go to this one with the cross and the flowers start making that's my card size next edit color pen foil gold check mark next Load my card. Let me preview it. Yep, that looks good to me. Close the preview out. Click make it. Select your machine. That is the name of my machine. 
It's gonna Bluetooth talk to the machine and it will, the little light up here will blinky. So I know they're talking. And now it's telling me how to put the card on. We're gonna click next. It's gonna tell me how to put the foil on. We're gonna load the mat now. So once you figure out where to go, it does walk you through, but there are no instructions on how to start. And that's what I didn't like. Now it's telling me to take my cutting blade out, which is white, and replace it with the foil blade, which is blue. Okay, now I'm gonna click go. And now it's gonna know what pressure it needs to push down. Again, this is hot foil that they're not using any heat on. So, it's going to just use a lot of hot, hard pressure. Now, I'm not going to do it today, but I have a ton of the foil quill foil. So I will also test these out for you guys. Um, you know, I was hoping with the app there would be more options. I don't like how limited it is because honestly, I can, again, design my own, go through the silhouette machine, transfer it to the Cricut Joy and do it with with the foil quill. So at this point, I'm, I'm not going to say $35 is worth this. I mean, if you wanted to spend $35, you could, you know, obviously Nancy Stamps is going to try everything for you. But I mean, I was playing around with it for a long time before I found that app because I kept just trying to use design space and use it on my phone and just draw with it because that's what I would do with the foil quill and it didn't work as you can see. All right, so once that is done, you do not, I repeat, you do not take this off of here. Uh, you don't unload it, I should say. What we are going to do is we are now going to, remember how I said you have to carefully remove that foil. Let me move this up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Abraham said, I bought everything Cricut last year. All the way. Yeah, Abraham, you should have been watching Nancy's videos. Definitely would rather you guys invest in a scan and cut. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to take this tape off. I will say this tape is pretty good tape. It is pretty good. I mean, it's like plasticky, but it's not super sticky. It's not like papery. It's not going to rip. So the tape isn't, they should just sell this tape in rolls. That, if they want to make some money, that's where they should make it on the tape. Okay. So what we're doing is we are not removing the mat. We're carefully removing our foil. And that's why I said make sure that corner is pulled up because you're going to want to take the foil off. So can you guys see? It's foiled beautifully. I uh, really, I don't know what you would use this for at this point. It's waste foil. Um, but you can see it did press down. And this is a textured card. It did miss a little bit right here. I can see that now. Um, but for the most part, does it work? Yeah, it works, if you want to say that. Okay, so now we need to cut it out. So now it tells you, do not unload the mat. Okay, we didn't unload the mat. Remove your foil transfer tool and insert your blade. So we're going to take this off and we're going to insert the blade. Now, I do think that my blade could probably be sharper. You'll see why in a second. And then it's going to say, go. And now what it's going to do is it's going to cut around this. And let me have our insert ready to go. We'll do this. All right, so once it's done cutting, it's gonna tell you it's done and then you're gonna click unload and it's gonna spit it out. Okay, so we can now move this out of the way. And you wanna very carefully, they say pull your mat away from your paper, not your paper away from your mat. Okay, I don't know exactly what that means, but pull the mat 
not your paper. Okay, and then it will slide out. So then once that is done, you're going to weed out what was cut. Actually, that wasn't too bad. And then we have these four corners which are just going to hold our insert. Now obviously, the more you play around with the design space or the app, the tools, I think there's way more capability on the computer than there is on the phone app. You can design your own designs. You can um, you know, do the inside of the card. You can do all kinds of things. So I'm just showing you the easiest way. And then this is the color insert and you just slide in the corners. And you have an instant foiled card. You don't even need any glue. If you want to add some gems and stuff. So that is the new foil transfer tool for Cricut Joy. Do I think it's worth $35 for that kit? No, I don't think it's worth $35. Um, you can get these box cards. Like I said, normal price is right around five, six dollars. If you wait until they have their 40% off sale, you're getting for three or four bucks. But really, you can use any card. I do think the card mat is nice, but you can get the card mat for around five dollars. And um, you can probably use any hot foil you have. Again, I'll do another video testing the other hot foils that I have for you guys. Um, but I don't think it's worth $35 just for that. I don't know how much they're going to sell just the foil bit for this part. Um, I would say, you know, $10 to $15 because if you bought a foil quill, how much are you going to pay for the foil quill? For those of you that don't know what the foil quill is, You can get three sets, three sizes. They have bold, fine, and meat regular. I would say this is equivalent to the regular. I do not recommend the fine. So I've done a video showing these, and you can see where I've marked mine so they fit. I'm sure somebody on Etsy has made adapters for them, but I basically just um, marked mine and used this, and you just plug the end into a little battery box your little USB battery box, and it works pretty much the same way, you guys. So my personal opinion is I don't think it's worth $35, but I know you guys love the the greatest and, you know, uh, things on foiling, and you guys were asking for more videos on Baby Joy. However, if you think it's something you want to get in, if you have extensive knowledge of using Cricut Design Space. If you have that $10 a month subscription, for you, it might be worth it because they're gonna have a lot more options for you to be able to download, for you to be able to uh, make. If you are somebody who does your own designs, you, you're you know a graphic artist and you like to do those kinds of things, for me, for somebody who's a quickie card maker and I just want it to be there and I'd be able to download it and print out like, for me, again, Silhouette software is easier for me to use because I can download any design, trace it, and make it into a foil function where I can do that. And it's going to be a little bit more difficult to do on this. So it depends, again, on what your budget is, how you think you're going to use it, and how often you're going to use it, and what is your skill level with using the Cricut Design software. So I would say take all of those things into consideration. It's my opinion for me. I don't know that I would use this enough to justify $35 without having the Cricut software. If I would decide to purchase the Cricut software, again, $10 a month over 12 months is $120 a year. How many cards would I need to make for that to justify it considering I'm not selling any of my cards? So that's how I justify it. So for me, it would be no, that doesn't mean I won't use it. I will find a way to use it around the software and use something use something else like Silhouette software. So there we go. Does it work? Yes. Was it easier to use than the foil quill? I would say yes. 
Is it worth the expense at $35? No. Now, if they sell it for $10 or $15 and you have Cricut Design Space and you're only going to make foil and cards every once in a while, go for it. But for me, I think I'd rather use my foil quill and my scan and cut. Yeah, since I got the scan and cut, my silhouette has been on the desk collecting dust. But I wanted to show you guys who just got it, how you get in and, and you know, again, the easiest way to do it is to download the um, Cricut Joy app, go to insert cards. I tried looking at all of the other things. I didn't see anything else in there that was foil. So only on the insert cards, browse. And again, you take your time to figure that out. I did free, but you don't have to do free. Can you guys stop texting while I'm on here? Um, so like here's another beautiful foil card that you guys can do, use, you know, but there's a fee. So just remember that there's a fee for each one. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if it lets us do this one. See, this design requires a Cricut Access subscription. So I just think that that blows. Subscribe per month, whatever. So that's my whole hang up with it. Now, I can make other designs and download them. Again, that's a different video for a different day. All right, so if you have Cricut Joy, you can already make these kinds of things without foiling. Really cute insert cards. Okay, and here it is. I did it with the silver foil on the blue card, and here I did it with the gold foil on the pink card. And you can see it did kind of jump and skip right there. But overall, still cute. Fast, easy cards. All right, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you are interested in purchasing, we do have some links down below if you guys want to purchase them. It does help to support our team. And I will do some experiments with the foil quill foil and my other hot foils and see how they work. These will not work with toner foils. It will be hot foils because, again, these foils have an adhesive built into them. And that's how it works. All right, so, yeah, I wanted to make the live short because I wanted people that got theirs, I just got mine today, to open up and start playing with it. So I don't want to go into an hour and a half long of chit-chat and talkity-talkity, but maybe on the next one. Any quick questions before we say goodnight? All right, if you like this video and you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please think about subscribing. And to the rest of you guys, I love you. Stay safe. Bye, everyone. Ciao. <laughs> Bye, Abraham. <laughs>